this is Jerry G with NCCE and a snapshot of a tech savvy teacher. I am on my way in to visit with Brian Fisher from Eagle Hills Elementary in Eagle, Idaho. He is doing some amazing things with Flipgrid and his fourth graders. So let's go in and check in on Brian and see what he's up to. I'm Brian Fisher and I teach fourth grade. Um, I've used Flipgrid now for a couple months and I've I did previously a lot of videos in my class and I found this a great tool that's really added to the student voice and really focused our learning instruction in class and it's really tied into the other curriculum aspects we've done so it's been a great tool. Um, I've been using it for social studies, science, ELA and some of the advantages of it is I can post their assignments of what they're supposed to do so when they log in they see it right there. It's very easy. Um, we do it often during a center, so they can do it independently. Uh, we've used it for like science classification. The students will read and then they will um, respond to the answers. We've been doing a lot of ELA and making strong paragraphs, uh, responding, um, we call it races. And I'm able to put that on there and it's great for them to do it more than just writing, but in a digital format. Um, I really like that some of my kids that are shy, it's really given them a voice because they feel more comfortable because it will just be them talking to the camera. They can um, just feel more comfortable, good practice. Then they also get feedback on their public speaking skills. Right. There's rubrics that are integrated in it, so I can go in and grade. The students can give responses back to their videos. It does have the option of some fun, kind of more kid-friendly stuff, such as emojis and stickers, and you have the ability to turn those off, turn them on. So it kind of gets that student engagement. We also talk about who is our audience and what's appropriate and not appropriate for those assignments. Once I do have the videos, you're able to mix the videos together and export videos. It's kind of a safe environment. It's a safe environment for kids to work in there because it's a closed environment. You need a password to access it. Um, I can choose to share links with parents, lots of options to make it safe and stuff. I also like that it allows you to go beyond your classroom walls. I haven't done it yet, but I saw an example of a class actually connected to a scientist in the Arctic and the students were able to ask questions. The scientists would respond back to her. Um, back, the, the scientists would respond back to the students and it just really engaged and allowed them to study their topic in an authentic environment. So it's really helped streamline my instruction because I'm, it's easier to give guidelines to the students. It's easier to give them feedback sooner. So. I was kind of reluctant at the first because I'm already doing videos, how does this support it? And it's just been a journey once I've worked on it, gotten into it, it just keeps growing with the promise and ability to use it. Um, so I highly recommend getting in. To get started, it's very simple to set up, start having the kid, kids videotape. So. Did you just go to flipgrid.com? Is that where you started? Is that how you can start? I went to flipgrid.com and created an account and was able to connect with my existing school district account. And then I was able to give the link to my students. They can type in a simple URL and use their student accounts to access. So what has been your favorite project so far that you've done on Flipgrid with your students? Um, there was two of them. We did Lewis and Clark, we do Idaho history. We did Fur Trappers. And I can limit the videos to one minute, two minutes, up to five minutes. So in the past when I was doing video stuff, I'd have kids keep videotaping, videotaping. So it really allowed me to teach them you have a certain amount of time that you need to fit in. Um, make sure you're hitting your topics. And the student engagement I really saw because they were allowed to wear props such as um, hats that replicated the time. And so it was kind of nice. They were able to work independent. I didn't have issues because they were excited to do it. They were excited to show their videos to their classmates. It's nice to be able to show the parents what we're doing in class. So, and I just think it prepares the kids for the future because they're gonna have to use rubrics, problem solve themselves, collaborate and work together. Just real, real world 
applications and practice. So, and it's been fun seeing them grow. And one of the things I've learned is turn it over to the students also because they're great teachers. They figure out stuff. They give me ideas to do it. So it's been a fun learning process for all of us. So that brings us to the million dollar question. What is Flipgrid? Well, let's check it out. So I actually found Flipgrid a few years ago and thought it was an amazing tool. So I became very excited when I found out they became part of the Microsoft family. Since we use the Microsoft Office 365 for education tools in our district, I can just go to educator login. This is what Brian was referring to. Same with the students. They have a student login or here. And you can see I log in with my Microsoft account. Um, you can see there's a student and an educator side. And then it brings me right into my actual grids so amazing tool I share it with teachers all over and I just want to say thank you Brian Fisher for sharing about your class and what you've been doing with Flipgrid if you are using Flipgrid in amazing ways in your classroom please find me at Jerry Gillespie on Twitter and you could be the next snapshot of a tech savvy teacher